Okay guys, so before we start the video, what happened was that after filming this video, for some reason, the camera I used to film the inside view didn't record. So what I'm going to do is add a still image on screen so you guys don't miss out on our amazing looks. And the part that refers to the title of this video is towards the end when I ask Brandon to do the parking on the right maneuver. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we have another lesson with uh, Brandon. So um, last lesson, it was his first lesson back um, after a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And how did that go? Went a lot better than I thought it would have, to be honest. It highlighted uh, one of the problems that you clearly I need to work on, which is uh, roundabouts more. Yeah, uh, it's mainly to stick with your lane, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I made use the middle lane a couple of times and we saw that you were drifting from that lane mm -hmm. over to there yeah and the other thing we're approaching around about a little bit too quick well towards the end of the lesson you kind of sorted everything out yeah but you did say like what did you want to do today uh roundabouts again and maneuvers yeah so still okay to cover that yeah mm -hmm. cool so with the roundabouts um where would you like me to help you would you like any help on them no i unless anything arises i don't think so Cool. So we're going to start off um, yeah, from where we are by doing a similar route to yesterday. Yeah, and I will make you use the middle lanes, mm -hmm. whatever we can, yeah. Okay, to see how you um, deal with that, yeah. Manoeuvres, um, depending on how much time we've got, obviously we'd like to cover all, mm -hmm. yeah. But say if we do a manoeuvre and you take, um, I don't know, you need a few attempts to do it, you might not have time to cover all of them, yeah. So um, if we do leave out any man manoeuvres... Um, we'll um, cover them next in the next lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you need any help on the maneuvers? I hope not. I don't think so. Did you watch the videos on the ultimate driving course? Yep. It's easy to. I find it easier to watch the the YouTube videos at this stage for myself as well because I'm actually watching myself. But the the ultimate driving course is what gave me everything I needed to know. Cool. Obviously, with the ultimate driving course videos, they're short and precise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And on the technique, obviously. That's the technique that I normally teach, which yeah. I've, I've used all the different techniques for different maneuvers, and I've, I've put in there the te techniques that I find easiest. Um, but yeah, you're right. With your videos, obviously they're a lot more detailed. With the YouTube videos, mm -hmm. yeah, they're obviously that's because it's related to me. Like yeah. for for anyone else, my videos, it'll be a good turning point for like, okay, that's what I could do. But for anyone else, a driving course would be better. But yeah. for me, it's more specialized to me on the video Cheers, i can see how you're trying to push the driving course there <laughs> cheers for that yeah but uh, like you said but even your videos even if people haven't got the driving course you don't have to watch your driving lesson videos the, obviously the, the techniques in there mm -hmm. as well yeah okay so um that will definitely help me out but obviously those videos are a lot longer and probably don't go into as much detail yeah. like with the you know with the actual footage of showing the reference points and that as they're in the ultimate driving course yeah so with the maneuvers no help roundabouts no help so you just want me to sit back tell you where to go and um just obviously come in if there's any mm -hmm. any fault so you're taking full responsibility yeah okay so any um sorry so with the weather today what's the road service like slippy wet good so what are you going to do what when when of, driving yeah what kind of extra Keep uh, a four second distance or so behind other cars. Good. And how's your braking going to differ? Brake earlier. Good. Okay. So, yeah, whenever you're ready, if you could move off for me, Brad. Tail left.
the roundabout, turn right, third exit. signal. Let's look at the signals of those vehicles, Brent. And the position. So, so everything confirmed us where they were going, yeah. As we approach that roundabout, yeah. Yeah. Which gear do we normally get an approach? Two. But I saw the van, the, the lorry thing. Okay. I saw the, you saw that quite early. To be honest, I, I couldn't see that from that back from that distance there. But even before we saw it, you you went for gear one. So you only went for gear one because you saw that. I saw I saw the lorry. I didn't know if it was turning left or right, but I still went for gear one. Okay. At what point should you go for gear one? When we're stopping. Yeah. Well, you know, you're definitely gonna stop. Yeah. Because say if um, you had got gear one, you know when you got that gear one, say if you saw a gap to go and you pulled the clutch up too slow. Yeah. And now if you could follow signs to Dudley please, Brian. with the mirror checks today. the lane that's the way you stayed in it well, what did I have to ask you to do as we approached yeah look at the traffic ahead now what should you be doing now Brent? Brake, brake, brake 
as soon as you notice it has the head, yeah. Where should that rifle go? Break. Yeah, over the break. Okay. It's even there. Yeah. What? So you know when you saw the lights change, your rifle should have been gone over which pedal? Break. Yeah. You're keeping you on the acceleration for too long, yeah, which is I think one of the reasons why I approach is still a bit too quick, like it was the other day. You know, your last listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the approach that roundabout, like even the, the weather conditions today, remember you said we at the start of the lesson that, slow yeah, well, I've, got, I've got to slow down sooner. Okay, so would you like me to check in a few questions and prompt you to slow down? Or do you think you can do that? I think I can do that. So do you want me to help you or not? Yeah. You do? You just, do yeah, just, just throw it in. Okay, cool. Mirror checks. Ahead. Right. Where should your rifle be then, bro? That's it. Just cover the brake. Just cover it. That's it. So now cover the brake for me. Don't press. Just cover it. That's it. And now start pressing it. Good. That's better. Rather than using the acceleration and then braking towards the end. Again, good mirrors. So we we checking the side mirrors. In a situation like this, what are you looking out for? Cyclists. Good. I'll get this roundabout. We're going to go straight ahead, second exit, yeah? You can use both left and the centre lane. Can you use the centre lane for me, please? Yeah. We're moving to slow down for the roundabout. That's good approach speed there. Stay in the middle lane. Be careful of that. Well done. Really good with your lane discipline this time, yeah. Difficult situation as well where you had the van. But yeah, the van on your right and the lorry was covering your lane, yeah, so you stayed back. Good. Get this roundabout if you could turn right, second exit please. Remember when to start slowing down, Brad. Good. Which way are we going? Right, second exit. So, well then. Two back and exit into the left. Good. And at this round, if you can go straight ahead. Yeah. Remember to slow down now. Slow down more. That's it. some bays on the right there now yeah if you could park forward into any bay on the right please yep. it got a bit further down like in between the red and blue corner
Okay, stop there a second. Uh, secure the vehicle. I didn't stop. I focused too much on my... Um, what I usually mess up on this. <laughs> yeah, the observations, yeah. I've switched it around. <laughs> so, you know when your... Um, so your observations are good. You made sure there was... You, you checked behind, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you did apply the signal. Because that's, like you said, that's one thing that you normally tend to forget, yeah? Mm -hmm. But then, you know, um, as you were coming towards the bay, yeah? What should you do with the clutch? Where should the clutch pedal have been? Put it down. Put it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're still up, yeah. And again, with this one, with this manoeuvre, we always stop just to make sure, yeah, that you are at your reference point. Or s s almost stop. You don't have to fully stop, yeah, but make sure you've got that reference point bang on, mm -hmm. yeah? Like you said, you didn't really focus on that much because you were focusing on your observations, yeah? Obviously, I know that you can, you know how to read just now, reverse and then go back forward into the bay, yeah? Um, but rather than doing that, should we go back to the starting position and then try it again? Yeah. I'll tell you, rather than the starting position, okay, you've stalled. Brake. So don't let the car roll forward. Make sure you either got your foot on the brake or use the handbreaker. Stop here, stop, and just drive around, please. We'll, we will do this maneuver again. We'll just do it on the other side now. Drive towards the right, and then turn right again, please. Right here. Yeah. And now, if you could park forward into any one of the bays on the left, on the right, sorry. Stop there, friend. Stop there. Okay, so what were you thinking there now when you're, mm -mm, and then you started to go forward? Did you, did you hear that sound? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I didn't even know I made that. Um, I thought I was like, I could edge forward a tiny little bit because that car there, I'd use that little. So, do we use other cars for our reference points before? No, I, Especially I was, when they park, if they park next to you, it's different, yeah. I was using the, the white line and I also was checking the back of my, um, you see the, the back door handle? Yeah. So again, have we used that before, the back door handle? I can't remember. No. But it's like, it's another reference point. It's like if it's, um, like if it's above the white line. That's when we're reversing. Mm -hmm. You know, when we're doing the reverse bay park. Mm -hmm. So you don't get too close to the back end. You don't, you never check it in that, you know, in that side mirror. You don't look at the door handle in that mirror. You look over your right, right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember this part here? Yeah. Yeah, that was when you're reversing into a bay just so you don't reverse over the line yet. But going forward and stopping the correct position, there's only one reference point that we've used. That. That's it. So, so all you have to do, if you stick to your reference point, yeah, you know, okay, it's fine. That was fine when you first stopped. Like you're gonna go forward, you're still inside the bay, but if you're going any more forward, you're going over the line now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just stick to those pointers. Don't like add all these new new things, like oh, I'm using that car, that's right over there. Yeah, or, um, some handle in the in the mirror. Okay. Are we inside the bay this time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just because you used your reference point when turning in, perfectly inside the bay. You okay with this? Yeah. Cool. If you could reverse out now, so the back of the car that way. We're gonna drive drive out that way. Yeah. And good observations. Uh, 
mind if you could turn right, please. Which side of the road did you be on? The left. Drive down to the bottom there, please. Keep going straight on. And then we're going to reverse into one of these bays on the left, yeah? Okay, please remember your reference points. You want me to carry on? I just, I thought you don't want to, uh, to stop at them. What do you mean? You don't want me to stop at these? I just want you to do the manoeuvre, how, how you've learned how to do it. We we stop at the reference where there's maybe a second or so, mm -hmm. just to check that you're there. Yeah, but you don't want to stop and just wait there, do we? Unless there's a hazard. Stop there a second round. So you know when we get to this point, yeah, we, we need to assess what's happening. So what do you think, are we... That wheel's gonna go over at the other side more. So, you know when we... You, in. You, you know when we get to this point, yeah, what you need to think is, are you are you inside both lines? Are you closer to one than I'm the other? Closer to that one. Okay, so what can you do from this position now to re sort it? What do you mean by re just Go gear one and nah. go forward. Nah. So all you need to do is to steer to the right now. Take the steering off, off the brake. Stay more. Straighten your wheel, that's it. Keep it straight for now. That's it. And stay back to the left again. Slow it down. And straighten up again. Straighten up. Okay, and stop there. Okay, so when you did this maneuver now, um, I and think because I broke, because I stopped a little bit at the uh, reference point, when I actually got off, um, I took an extra little green line worth, which is why I'm close to this line, that, I think. That shouldn't make that much difference at all, yeah? Like, you can stop to make sure, and when you moved, you steered, that, mm -hmm. that speed was there fine. So what you could do, you could... So what reference point do you normally use? Do you use a oh, green sticker? Yeah. yeah. You just passed it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Do exactly what you did. But... You, you know when you're looking for the reference point? So you did your observations well when we started, yeah? But then, after the observations, so if, you're, if your reference point's quite far away, focus on another check. You were just staring there. So if you're staring there and reversing, what could happen in that oh, time? Coming. Yeah. Okay, so those checks at the back have to be regular. So if your reference point's close by, okay, you know, mm -hmm. you're about to get there, you should be focusing there. But if your reference point's nowhere near, Use that time you got to to look around, but and and again, Brent, you know, once you've steered to the left, and when the back of our car goes into the bay, you should stop and think, okay, good or not? Am I going? Yeah, like here, if you're too close, all you do is take the steering off for a second, pop it back on, and we'll just move your car car towards that side. Yeah, okay, right. Let's uh, try it again.
Is that better? I still think I could. I, I could be more central. Okay, so if you open that door, is that? Am I not like straight, straight? Yeah, it's really good. See, why are you questioning me? <laughs> I, I just want to know what you think's wrong. It's like, <laughs> it's like even when you do it good, you're like, oh, I think I could have done something. Like, I don't want you to change anything from this. That was really good. With your observations, the way you got your reference point, mm -hmm. where you stopped. Yeah, I'll be inside the bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just focus on, on that. Don't um, overthink it, overcomplicate it, yeah? Okay. Okay? You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, remember that reference point? Yeah, please don't forget. And um, before we set off now, could you wash the wind, uh, windscreen for me? The front one? Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Right, um, how do you think you did on the roundabouts? Positioning wise? Good. Good yeah. positioning. Um, What's that one thing you think you can uh, improve? Slowing down before getting there. Yeah, that's on roundabouts in general as well. We're approaching red lights. Good. It's like, what you'll do is, you know, when you get close to the vehicle ahead, mm -hmm. yeah, then you'll start braking. Yeah, try and look look past that vehicle, lights are red, off the gas, cover the brake. It shouldn't just be acceleration, brake, acceleration, brake. Yeah? Slow, you, slow. you can have that time when you come off the acceleration. That's your, remember, that's your first step towards slowing down. That is actually part of the braking process. Take, yeah. your, hand, uh, take your foot off and just cover. Yeah, okay, early. Um, yeah. So we've got two more manoeuvres. We should be able to cover both of them as well now. Okay. Parking on the right and... Reverse parallel parking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Move off whenever you're ready. Just, just check behind in case the wall is coming up. Remember, if it's a busy car park, could there be somebody walking around? Yeah, just permeating their way through the wall into the back of the car. At the end of the road, if you could turn right, please. Straight ahead, second exit. Yep. Get this roundabout to your right, second exit. This roundabout coming up, I'd like you to go straight ahead, which is the second exit. And we can use both lanes. Could you use the right hand lane for me, please? Yep. Straight ahead. Yes, please. Uh, well done, good early braking. There's a person there as well. Well done. Slow it down, slow down. How come when you saw the person, <laughs> you came off the brake and increased your speed? There's good awareness, she knows, noticed it in really real good time. No, like I'd come off the brake because he was already like by the, the what's well, it yeah. Was he in the road? Yes. Yeah. Turn right please, yeah. So if he was in the road, yeah, should we be speeding up? No. He said turn right as well. Is it okay to still be a... Yeah, you, you can use this lane. 
because I'm going to come off in the right side anyway. You have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ideally, obviously at the roundabout, I might use the right-hand lane because we're following on from the last lesson as we agreed, yeah? I was um, helping you stick to your, I want to see how you stick to your lane, which you did well. But here, yeah, it's the same same kind of thing really because you use the, you've uh, used the right hand lane make sure in this area see it's not marked yeah, I was about to say it's a little trickier. yeah so you've got to make sure you stick to your lane yeah. I see it Stay close all done good Top speed. so you're gonna keep driving in this lane all done as soon as you're into the new road, yeah, make sure you try and move back to the lift when you safe. Start braking, Brent. See you again. You're braking on the last um, a couple of approaches has been good. Be here again now. It was too late. How long do I have to actually like cross over into the left lane? Because. The cars were close. I know I could have done it, but it felt like it was. Well, at least start the start like at least start the process. Yeah, you just so you, when you go into the new road, yeah, start checking your mirrors. Yeah, like that car on the left, he wasn't that close. At, you know, after we made the turn, yeah, what color of the lights had well done. Good. That's better with the braking. Yeah, and so soon after the turn, yeah. So no, there's no set time limit, but you've got to show. So yeah, I'm trying to get back to the left. Yeah, if you like, you know, as soon as you took the tin if you did your mirrors if you had signaled you had ample of time yeah to uh, get across if it is busy you can still apply that signal though yeah but obviously maintain that speed and then that will make it easier to um, get into the left and obviously people know what, that you are trying to get into the left yeah Somewhere you're you're into Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter's sick. The boy who lived. Come to the high. You're not a big Harry Potter fan. I ain't got a clue what you're on about now. <sighs> Sorry. Good mirror checks. Traffic lights, if you could turn right, please. Yep.
everything in your position. I'm a little back, but it's it's good. It's really good. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist. Nothing's ever right in my eyes. Nothing's right in the examiner's eyes either when you drive it. <laughs> I think every time I question you, you think you've done something wrong, yeah? Better to assume the worst. Because then I can't, I can't. I always anticipate failure. It's great. You can never be let down if you anticipate failure. So you're saying always think you're going to fail? <laughs> always think you're going to fail, no. so when you do, no. you don't have to cry. I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with that at all. check that overtaking mirror because remember that one time? Yep. I think it's happened more than once when people do try and overtake. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, if you could turn left please. Did you wait for me to change gear three then? Yeah sometimes I do. So you have more work to do when it comes to the turn. the road if you could turn left please. Right we're going to do the parallel parking maneuver using this uh, car so you can if it's safe to do so you can just pull up next to it and then do the reverse parking maneuver please. Don't like this. Remember your points. Yeah? Yeah. Just make sure you got your point at each time, yeah. Slow. That's the only thing you need to remind, really, yeah, to remember your points exactly. You put your head head there on purpose. That is one. Be careful of the fan swinging. Where where should you have looked by now, Brent? That's it. You did look towards the right, but not towards the blind spot. Let's get close to this curb. I think that is close enough. Now let's start turning. That is a very nice. Good. No one's on the path. And the uh, handle is off the path. Straight enough. Keep checking at the back. One car distance away. I'll say this is a nice place to stop. Okay. How do you feel about that? I feel as I'm too far away from the curb. I don't know. So, yeah, ideally we could be a tiny bit more closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for obviously people that are watching that can't see, but about that far from the curb, mm -hmm. which is still okay. Yeah, examiner won't really mark that down. It's basically a okay. tire, isn't it? Yeah, but you could be obviously a little bit closer than that, yeah. So, you know that, um, the second reference point when you said, oh, I think that's close enough, yeah? So what was, um, what's the reference point we use for that, to know that you're close enough or not? The, 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 the floor, the road. Yeah, and the what, curb. what about it? How much road should there be? Very little. Yeah, was there very little? There's a little bit more that I could st I could okay. still see, but okay. I still just just pause it a second. So, you know when we use these ref reference points, like at the start of of this maneuver, even the reverse bay park. Yeah, I just said remember your reference points, yeah, because mm -hmm. you know these reference points that you've used, 
yeah, that you've learned to do the manoeuvres, yeah, they are like absolutely vital that you stick to them, yeah. Don't try and do it like, oh yeah, I think I kind of know it now, okay. You will get to that stage, yeah, after more re regular driving, yeah, and doing the manoeuvre numerous times, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. But for now, like even with that reference, you said, oh, I left a bit more this time, yeah. It's very, very but little. Why? That very little, the, that very little is the thing that made the difference. Because sometimes when I'm actually on the curb, like the the normal place, I get a little worried that I'm actually going to touch the curb, yeah. and I don't want to start readjusting. But then, but, I'm no, doing but it. then we can we can change it. Then then we know your reference point's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're touching it, yeah, okay. But if you stuck to the exact reference point, I'd be closer. You'd be closer. So do, you, do you understand how that makes a difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And normally your observations are quite good on this. Yeah, which which is the key observation you kind of forgot? This one. That. Where are you supposed to look there? At the back. Yeah, out of the right blind spot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that area you can't see in your mirrors at all, yeah. I checked briefly when I said swinging, but. Yeah, you looked over there. <laughs> yeah. the, the way that we can tell that you're looking over there, we can see. Yeah, we can actually see your, your right ear sticking out from this side. Yeah. You gonna try this again? Are you okay with that? Do you want me to try it again? Totally your call. Yeah, sure. Go oh, on then. <clears throat> Control the speed. I see a car. Very little as can be. Checking the back. It's perfect, but I don't like how close I am to the curb. I don't like You're it. You're over that close. I don't like it. Okay, look. It doesn't so. make me feel good. How do you say that is for parking? The distance. It's good, but you know when I'm, you know when I'm coming, coming back and like I'm actually seeing myself get close to the curb as I'm like straightening up. I keep having like this little. Oh, if my tire touches that curb, I'm yeah. done. Yeah, I'm done. But you're not done. If you touch the curb, what can you do? I can straighten up, but isn't if I touch the curb in the exam, isn't that just like, oh, you failed? No, who's talking you, 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 you could have run over a pedestrian's foot. No, if, if you go over the curb, then yes. If, you, if, you, if touch you touch it. the curb and really just, it's absolutely fine. Obviously, if you're coming back too fast and you whack the curb and you mount it, then, it's, then it is a serious yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like there now, you said to me that distance is good. Mm -hmm. It's actually perfect that distance is. It's not too close, not too far. But because of that fear of touching the curb, yeah, if you, if you like, you know, if you stick to the reference point, yeah, like just like you did, this is the distance you'll always end up in. If you mess up the reference point, yeah, always and, and, and then you know you're going to touch the curb, yeah, but if you leave too much space, and with that fear of touching the curb, you're always going to end up too far, mm -hmm. yeah, and is parking too far away from the curb a risk? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, just imagine you're on a really narrow road, yeah, and there's parked cars here, parked cars on that side, and you, but your car's sticking out a bit, and a big lorry or bus one that gets past. Yeah, and you've blocked the whole whole street because no one can get past just because you didn't want to finish close to the curve. You can always pick it up and like drag it. Okay, you okay with that maneuver now, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So move off whenever you're ready. Well, observations, okay. Yep, yeah, really good this time.
the end of the road, turn right please. Sorry, tail left. When it's safe to do so, if you could park up on the right hand side of the road, please. Yep. I'm gonna go a little further. Well, then, good. That's what I asked you here. Do you think it's safe to park just before a bend? No, and then I, if I did it a little earlier, there's a lady there. You're not allowed to stop on the road, are you? You know, if you want to stop, that's fine. You can stop on the road. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so something tells me that you didn't watch the video on this maneuver at all. So, are you saying to me that you you 100% watch the video to this maneuver before I listen? You didn't, did you? So you lied to me. Hey, hey, hey! I've watched it. I I didn't see this. See what? What what have I done wrong? No. So, is it is it the whole? Can I not stop in the road? Yeah, of course. Because when we did this maneuver, and even on the ultimate driving course, and on your actual um, YouTube video that we did on this maneuver, all the information should have been there. And you've totally forgotten that you're like, oh, I'm not allowed to stop. And that's one of the common mistakes that, that people make. Yeah. But you said, oh, you've watched the videos beforehand. I didn't specify which videos. Yeah, but if you haven't watched all the videos, then... It's not good enough. Yeah. Not all the videos, but the ones for the maneuver you're supposed to watch. In my, in my head, when I was uh, stopping them, some, the, the thought that ran through was like, you don't want to be stopping no, traffic. No, it's like you're going to have lots of thoughts in your head, but you should know exactly what to do. That's what the, those videos are there for. If you'd watched the what, four minute video on the course, you'd like, yeah, I know. I know what to do here. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, when you, um, the, the first thing was, it was good that you didn't stop stop by the bend, but you know, you say this lady was walking there. Does that really affect us if we're going to park up? No. No? Yeah. Unless you you're, you're, you think you're going to go on the curb. Yeah. Then you would put it in, put it in danger. Okay. Um, but it's good that you didn't park up by the bend. But then, on this road, there was no one behind us. Yeah, maybe that was the reason you were doing. You're driving really slow. Mm -hmm. I know you were thinking, yeah, I've got to park up. Yeah, but you can't be holding up traffic because they didn't know what we were doing. That's that's what was going through my mind, which is why when I came slower down, I was like, is this this will be a fail because I'm holding traffic. But you were you were driving really slow. Yeah. Okay, but if you had the signal on, if you had signal right, so if there's someone behind you, say you've signal right here, yeah, um, and there's an oncoming car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, let me change the scenario a little bit, yeah. So, you're... I don't know, you come to see a friend or someone, yeah? You're going to park up outside the house. There's no parking on the left. You want to park there? Mm -hmm. You've seen a parking spot that you can easily park park into going forward? So, if there's a car behind you, what would you do? Would you just keep driving because there's a car behind you? No. What would you do? Signal. Yeah, signal, then what would you do? Slow down to then go into... Yeah, and if there's vehicles coming... Oncoming vehicles. Wait. Yeah, you'll stop and wait, as you would for a right turn, because you're gonna park up there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's explained in the video anyway. <laughs> okay. Watch the ultimate driving guys uh, course, guys. Yeah, unlike Brandon. Okay. <laughs> right. So whenever you're ready, if you could um, reverse two car lengths. Two. I thought it was four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're really pushing it there, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Go 
don't be beeping at me. Okay, that's a battery for the foot camera. Oh. <laughs> Finished. So you can't see Brandon's uh, feet now. Yes. No more free feet content. <laughs> Where else should you be looking? That's it, good. Right, that's fine. And if you could move off when you're ready, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this first. I feel like I'm rolling back. Which signal would have been good there? Left. Good. Uh, turn left, please. Good. So that would come under adequate clearance, wouldn't it? What's that? The the stopping beforehand in the video section. What would that come under? The maneuver. No, no. The the slowing down for the cars. I want to like give him way. In. Yeah, yeah, adequate clearance, yeah. I feel as though I've meeting got situation. much better at yep. things like that. Which was, I wouldn't say a problem, but it was, wasn't the best back then. Yeah. At the end of this road, we're going to go straight ahead. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Yep. And switch off the engine brand. Okay, take out the key for me. That's the end of the lesson. So, how do you think you did? Um, roundabouts, I thought, went really well. Um, everything else went, went great. Uh, the manoeuvres, there's always that little hiccup or so, and then it's just readjusting and like actually like getting the reference point yeah. solidified in my, in my mind. Yeah. But um, the, with the reference points and the manoeuvres, um, what could have made you a lot easier? Yeah, one would be not not lying to your driving instructor, yeah, and actually watching the videos, mm -hmm. yeah, and that would have definitely helped you. You see, just recapping on that knowledge. See how you totally forgot on that? Are you like, oh, I can't stop? It's one of the things actually. To you, it's absolutely fine to stop, yeah, and hold up the traffic behind. As long as you've done it safe, you've done your mirrors, you've told them what you're doing, and you wait, and you found a safe place. Okay, um, with the lane discipline, how was that? Good, much yeah. better. Good. And um, one thing which you did improve on, yeah, but I Is think still need to, yeah, 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 definitely, especially in these kind of weather conditions, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, but yeah, anything that you feel didn't go well? Um, no, not that, not that, uh, not that much to be honest, yeah, just you know, get better at or like being more 100% on. Uh, executing the maneuver, I felt as though the parallel park went went well. I feel as though most of them went well, to be honest. Yeah, you just like the actual execution of them would, would, would better. Yeah. Um, cool. So, do you think do you think you're ready for a mock test now? Yeah. Cool. So that will that's what we'll do uh, next next lesson. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll start from the test center. We'll do a um, full test route and um, see how you get on. Not that dreaded place. Okay. So, um, I see any questions? No. Okay. So, so, guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found that video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.